I want that. And that became ours. And soon that became another day. Collie, soon Collie had stayed there for three whole days. After two more days, Collie remembered. Oh my gosh, the waste don't be crying. Flew away. He was so surprised that he banged in the whiff, which banged in the stuff. Ow! Sorry, Mr. Goldie. I'm late. I didn't want to come here. I really didn't. I know I'd be clumsy. After a clumsy five days, Goldie was finally working at the dump. This is her. Okay. This is now, while we shut trucks into this into the crusher, you push this big garbage truck into the claw. So Wes and Scruff push them into the crusher. Came up completely flash. And the car came back onto the tracks. Wes trying to Well, his his garbage is smelter. I came up flat, and the car came completely back in on my. Okay, said Scuff and Wiff. Great, said Goldie. I'm surrounded. Now, I'm going to be the claw that picks this garbage up. Scuff, think you can do that? Uh, yes, Scuff. Literally. The claw would, would push it into the giant ferns. Or, should I say, fit with incinerator. So the claw tried to pick it up, but it completely missed. It picked up a piece of track. Ah! The gully. Help! It threw the piece of track into the snow. It was burnt. Now look what you did. Scuff. Another random came along and, and brought a new piece of track. It was put in place. Now look what you did. Scuff. You wasted our track. Sorry. Said Goldie. After two hours of struggling and five new pieces of track, we finally got the garbage truck into the smoke. Phew! That's a relief. No. Now. Now. You're going to be shunting three trucks into, this, into the crusher. The green one. You push into the siding. The yellow one goes in the crusher. And by the way, when it's in the crusher, It'll come out automatically, and you push it into the side of the green one. And the red one, you need to push it into the other little smelter, or the big incinerator. I'd rather the little smelter. It's a cozy, great stuff. Now, that's what you do. First, stop. put the green car into the side. The garbage was unloaded. Then, Kali pushed the second one into the crusher. It came out completely flat, and the freight car came out. And that, Kali shorted it with that. Then, Kali, Kali went to the smaller incinerator. The, the little claw picked up the pieces of garbage and threw it in. Then, Kali shorted that in. There, all done. All I need to do was 200 more. Scuff. Coldy was shivered with fright. 200 more? Yes, said Scuff. Whip does the first 100, and I do the second. Now, you can, there's, since there's three of us, you can do 300. Yay! He said. He jumped up and down. Hey, Scuff. Hey, Cully, why aren't you jumping? 
It's so happy, huh? Mm, I don't know, said Cody. Everyone's going to make fun of me. Okay. Said Scuff. You do 100. Wait a sec. I know. You can do 97. Since you already jumped to 3, you can do 97. And we can do 200. How's that? Okay, said Goldie. After, after 24 hours, which is a day, Goldie finally managed to get all the trucks in. So did Scott and Wes. It also included 30 new pieces of track for this claw. I didn't know what to do. Oh, this is so bad, he said. This one comes out. Oh, I don't like you, said Cody. And don't scuff her. Ah, said Scuff. Hey, Scuff, don't do that. Hmm, said Cody. Then the claw came down. Scuff was hanging over the incinerator. Ah, oh no, said Cody. You have to build a pad. The driver threw four pieces of wood out. Trying to get on the pad. But now he was hanging by two draws of the claw. He swung harder. Don't worry, said Cody. My, my driver's going to throw a rope over. Then your driver will get on you and tie it to you. Okay, said Scruff. Soon that was coupled. Cody pulled and pulled. And he strained and he struggled. Soon. It was only two wheels up in the air. Scruff was still swinging. Watch was swinging. Cody. Whoa! Said Cody. This is not going to work. I better swing you. So Cody swung. He swung so hard that the clock broke and landed right into the incinerator. Scruff smashed into the wall. And they didn't see the the pad. Then there was trouble. Scruff couldn't move. He had no coal. Then the platform started separating. Ah, said Scruff, help! He would be able to pull himself back up and jump onto the tracks. Thank you, Scruff. Thank you, Cody, said Scruff. You're welcome, Cody. How much do I have to work for you? Oh, I offer you six. Uh oh. He backed away. No, that's all right. I like working here. You do? said with surprisingly. Yes, Cody. I wish I could always work here every day. And that happened. Soon, Cody was part of the of the waste dump. And he had fun doing it. He practiced and practiced, and soon he was doing fine. The end. P.S. As for James, he ended up crashing. Big mud went everywhere, all over James. Oh, said James, all the indignity.